Peter is a cockroach. So I'm calling him. Instead of Peter, instead of Heimrich, I'm calling him a cockroach. A parasite. A bottom feeding piece of shit. I'm not narrating my words. I'm saying how I feel. Now, before I get to cockroach, and that's what I'm calling him, cockroach, because there's three cockroaches in Port Charles. Gladys, cockroach number one. No, no. Steven Seagal wannabe Cyrus, cockroach. Gladys, cockroach. Heimrich, cockroach. Because that's what he is. He's a cockroach. Now, I'm only saying this, sir, because I actually agree with you. Maxie's plan is going to fail miserably unless Unless she tells Jim's Oma, which means mother in German, I think. I don't know. Don't know much German. Just because I have a little German in me doesn't mean I know a lot of it. Um, I'm glad that Michael and Will finally admitted how they felt. And I'm glad they had sex. Now, to be honest with you, Brock, I thought it was just, I was just glad they had sex. I didn't care if it was pull your hair, make you moan and groan, you know, slap that ass. I don't really care for slapping or, or violent sex. Sorry, Brock, I don't. I, I think that's not sex. I think that's rape. And uh, Michael's too nice of a guy to ever lay hands on a woman. Now, lay hands on a man, that's different. Especially when they ask for it. But on a woman, Michael's too much of a gentleman for that. And that's why I enjoyed the sex they had. To me, it was romantic. It was passionate. But it wasn't violent, and I prefer that. But, we'll come back on it. I would have loved to have heard some, oh, yeah, Michael. Yeah, take me, take me. Yeah, yeah. I would have loved to have heard that. I would, I, I would love that. I mean, but violent sex, no. We already have to deal with one cockroach. We don't want M Michael being turned into a cockroach. No, thank you. Well, Brock, there is something that I am concerned about on General Hospital. I am concerned that Chase might be killed off and that Josh Slicker might be leaving. God, I hope I'm wrong. God, I hope I'm wrong. I would not like to hear that. That would piss me off. That's my boo. You have one. I have one. It used to be money. It used to be a long time on one life to live that Michael Easton was my boo. But now, it's just slicker, baby. He is hot. He knows how to sing. He knows how to make a woman swoon. He would probably show a woman a good time in bed. But I'm glad that your favorite woman, Lisa Obrecht, or James's Oma, came to see Maxie. I'm glad she wanted to come over to Maxie's house and keep keep an eye on her and the kids. I think Maxie should have took her up on it. In fact, I think Maxie should tell Liesel about Britt 
and her plan. She might come up with something better. But on the other hand, if Peter, sorry, Cockroach survives, he might go after her. Which would be a very big mistake if he goes after her because Liesel is deadly. She's legal. Lethal. She's, she's not a woman you want to mess with. Especially if you're messing with her family. No West Ramsey, a.k.a. Heimrich, a.k.a. Um, Parasite. It's you that better watch your back. Because if you do anything, if your character does anything to hurt the people that Lisa Obrecht cares about, I have no doubt you'll be dead. Or be wishing you were dead. Now, I'm sorry to say this, but Valentine Patrick Stewart, or Pat, whatever your name, Patrick James, whatever your name is, I honestly think that you don't have anything to back it up. Yeah, I doubt seriously he would kill Peter. No, I doubt it. Doesn't sound like it holds up in court. Wow. If this bastard were to get killed, I kind of would like to see that because I'd like to see a murder mystery. See who killed who. I mean, and with what object and, with, and how blunt the um, weapon was. Or to see Pierre, sorry, cockroach go to jail. Get trapped in a a cockroach motel and taken to the Pine Barrens and be buried there. In short, I'm calling Peter a cockroach. Because that's what he is. A cockroach. A bottom-feeding parasite of a cockroach. Who's around other cockroaches like Cyrus and Gladys and anyone else that he's around. That's why I believe that Nicholas is playing with fire when it comes to, to Steven Seagal wannabe. Now, mind you, Jeff Colbert has been doing a good job of pissing me off. That's how well you know he's a good actor. And I would much prefer seeing him play a good guy, but that's not what he does. That's not what his role is right now. Well, could he play the role of Asa Buchanan? After the original pun passed away? Yeah, I think so. Because Ace of Buchanan was root, uh, ruthless, except to, to his family. Well, oops, that's not entirely true. He was a little bit ruthless, even to his own family. But, if it's other people that are being ruthless to his family, then he's going to take arms and kick ass. Now... Vicky was always the one that basically calmed Asa down. So Laura is basically doing the same thing. Sorry, um, Jeannie, who plays Laura, is doing exactly the same thing that Erica Slazak did for the man who played Asa, which was not bad because she did a good job, and so did Renee. Um, I'd like her a lot. Now, if she ever came on General Hospital, and I would love to see the woman who played uh, Renee, 
on General Hospital. I really would. Because I really, really think she can take some ass. All she would need to do is act like Annie Oakley and pull out a gun and bam, she did dead. Dead, dead, dead. Bam, bam, bam. That's all, all um, Valentine has to do is go back there, have a gun, go to the back of his head, boom, boom, boom. He'd be gone. Or leave the room, someone else comes in who doesn't really like him, and do the same thing. Boom, boom, boom. But I doubt that's going to happen. Honestly, I really doubt it. But, I did see previews of <coughs> General Hospital tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to be able to watch it because, probably not going to be able to watch it because I have a second vaccine that I have to do because of this whole damn freaking COVID crap, which I hate. A lot more than you know. A piece of crap ruins everybody's lives. But at least I have my general hospital, which keeps me entertained. Except for our tomorrow. I can see it Thursday, but not Friday because I have a meeting. And that's why, Brock, I rely on you to tell me what's going on on general hospital. But when you can't do it, I will. So, Maxie's son's Oma, your favorite person, came on. And she was there to help Maxie. I'm grateful for that. Uh, Britt's arm is still shaken. Whatever disease she has, she's not going in for treatment. Although I think she should. Very much think she should. And I didn't see Kelly Monica, thank God, because I'm sick.